All right, let's go to Sean in Pennsylvania. Hey, Sean, how are you? I'm all right, sir. Thank you very much for taking the call. Certainly. How can I help? Um, it, it's been a rough year. I lost a great paying job, and um, I'm hustling as much as I can, but I'm making about two-thirds what I used to. I can't keep up my debt payments anymore. Um, the money I've got coming in covers the budget and a little bit of the debt, but I've got a lot of stupid debt. Do I, uh, I still have enough cash to keep paying for a couple of months, but do I stop now, hold on to that until hopefully my situation changes? What did you used to make? My household income used to be 140000 And what is it now? It's under a hundred. Okay, and it's all you earning the money. Uh, no, my uh, my wife does work. Um, uh, it, it's not a high paying job. She's a uh, children's ministry director at a local church. Making how much? Uh, about twenty thousand a year. Okay, so you went from a hundred and twenty to about eighty. Correct. Doing what? What do you do? Uh, Human resources. I was a, a director in a company, and uh, I have not been able to find an equivalent position. Okay, All right. but you're looking, and you've been looking for you've been looking for how long? A uh, year. Now, the interesting thing is, you know how pizza's made, right? Exactly. Yeah. So um, it, it's uh, both gives you insight and additional frustration. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so what kind of debts have you got? Uh, do I have to air all my stupid on national radio? <laughs> well, <laughs> you wouldn't be the first one, I can tell you that. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first one in the seven. last hour. <laughs> so let me just say, oh, Dave, I only found you last week and not okay. a couple of years I've been listening to. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, Dave, I've got um, it's uh, $70,000 in consumer debt, um, actually the last 40 um, I, I've taken probably in the in the last year just to you know keep help keep me afloat. There's more student loan debt in there than I want Your to mention. Income didn't go down forty, did it? Uh, it was well, yeah. my. Uh, there was a period of time where I was completely out of work. Oh, okay, all right. And so, and then, so uh, you have. So, so, you, was, so let's break it down. What do you owe on your cars? I owe twelve thousand on one car. Okay. And what's the, what, you got credit cards? Uh, credit cards and unsecured debt of around 70000 Okay. And a lot of that has been in the last year by trying to maintain your lifestyle. Okay. And so how much is your house payment? Uh, my house payment's 1300 Okay. And how much cash do you have left? Uh, about six, no, no, 5000 Okay. Um, no, we're going to hold that until we get some of this weathered. Um, and you have got to cut your lifestyle and get on a written budget. I mean, you still make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And, um, even if you pick out some things that you just say, all right, I'm not going to pay that credit card. I'm going to let that one go bad. Um, pick out the big one, you know, or something like that. If something has to be sidelined, but you need a detailed written budget. You guys don't need to see the inside of a restaurant unless you're working there. You don't need to be on vacation. People make it on $100,000 a year with $70,000 in debt. They make it on that. And so, you, you know, you guys are part of this is you're, you're well, not. We didn't, go ahead. Oh, well, we didn't touch the fact that student debt payments um, are starting. And uh, my total debt payments, not counting the car, is 3200 a month. Okay, I'm sorry. So seventy thousand doesn't include student loans. Correct. Oh, how much in student loan debt do you have? Uh, it's over a hundred thousand now. Okay, uh, that goes on hardship deferral for right now. I'm not paying it today. Yeah. Okay. So you've got to balance your freaking budget. Borrowing to maintain the appearance of everything's okay is not making everything okay. So we're not going to burn through cash. And we're not going to borrow to maintain the to stay current on the payments. If you have to get behind on something, pick what to get behind on. Take the take the student loans immediately. Put them on hardship deferral. No question about that. And then, but you still need to get on a detailed written budget. 
because you should be coming home with six thousand dollars and you have a thirteen hundred dollar house payment and so you've still got some leaks here you guys are not making every single dollar scream with your budget and you and your wife are not working together on this at the level that you have to be that's what's going to turn the corner on this and that organization of that money makes it much more efficient that's why i always tell people you feel like you got a raise when you did it so and then continuing to hunt and pick up extra jobs and continuing to hunt for the new career and all that stuff that's going to turn the corner on this but you can't keep um you, you can't keep burning cash here whether it's real cash or whether it's debt cash you've got to get this budget below your income <laughs>